now. Placement of the guy is not working. Not how it's supposed to. Selected A minus. Okay. Plus. Let's try this. If I scroll and click. It's it's getting bigger and bigger. It must it must supposed to be minus here. Make a guy. Make a guy. Scroll. See that because the scrolling's not working. That's the issue. See, right here where I clicked, it drew him, but it drew him where he would have been if I had not scrolled over at all. So it's it's losing. Some stuff. Where, where is it losing it? Seven minutes. Let's see. Let's see. Would really help if I'd like cheated and planned this whole thing out ahead of time. Um, let's see, look a times thirty. I'm gonna try something crazy here. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> okay. You know what? Screw it for now. We can still place guys. Place guys, place trees. Uh, we need to update our save so that we can save and load these guys in too. Where's it at? Here it is. figure out why it's not working after. I'm sure it's something stupid that I'm just not catching because I'm trying to go real fast. Having only seven minutes left doesn't help either. Okay, so we can save and load that stuff in. Uh, it would be nice to have a mini map of some sort, which I don't know. I had another form for this just for now. Not even done with a stupid editor. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about making a, the whole game. Maybe I should you know, lie and say, oh, I was supposed to just do the, uh, make an editor in this amount of time. Here we go. This will be our mini-map. show and then um, we're going to have to scroll through this whole thing. So we say uh, let's see if we're drawing here we say if tile equals one then form two dot picture one dot four color equals we'd be green so we can just get the the major stuff done this was water right it was the second one um, just this is a darker green and then red will be rocks, I get or man, yeah, this is just 
do a, a gray for rock. So then we would say form two dot picture one dot line. This would be z minus one times temp a, which let me I'll add, I'll figure out what those are supposed to be afterwards. This is the width of, the, of each like individual cell or how big are the tiles supposed to be on the minimap, and depending on our width and height, it's going to change. Um, w minus 1 times temp B through Z times temp A W times temp B. And we fill it in. So, um, temp A is 100 divided by width because I have a hundred it's a hundred pixels wide right now. Let's see if this works. Minimap. It's all green. Let's load the one that we had. Input oh input past the end of file because when we saved it um before when we made that other map it was uh it didn't have like units and stuff in it. So it's basically trying to load junk that doesn't exist anymore some rocks in here. It might be easier to set it, you know, make the editor set up more like the World of Warcraft, or the Warcraft 2. I keep saying World of Warcraft. The Warcraft 2 editor where, you know, you can just choose what brush you want and every time you click it automatically sets it. I mean, that would be incredibly easy to do. Okay. I'll save this one. We'll overwrite the one that's obsolete. Open our minimap, and there's our minimap. So we can construct our whole map this way. Um, oh, where's my mini map? Now, unfortunately, I have to click mini to update it. But you know, you could do this. It'd be pretty easy to do yourself. So that every time you did something, it updates the mini map. In fact, mini map having it on a separate form, you can stick the mini map down at the bottom or at the top or wherever you want to do it. Now, for the purposes of the game, which what am I out of time here? Probably. Wow, I have one minute and eight seconds left. Um, in that last minute, let's see if I can't whip together AI pathfinding, collision detection, units attacking each other, animation, all that kind of good stuff. I don't think I'm going to do it. So, uh, I think this qualifies as a failure. <laughs> um, so, uh, I guess next time I won't tell somebody, yeah, I could whip together a game like that in an hour because they'll call me on it. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I failed. It took me more than an hour. So, uh, hopefully, you learned something from this. I guess I could always, if I get some time, you know, maybe make another video to finish this game. And uh, it kind of bumps me out that I failed because I really didn't think it would take me this long. It seems so simple. I mean, I still got to put in code so that it blends water, mixes the trees the, the way it's supposed to do it. Um, of course, animating the guys so that you can select them and make them run around and do stuff. And that chime means it's the end. So, all right. Well, this is April signing off.